When I was 13, I was watching a television show that had um, one of my favorite singers and also dolphins playing at the bow of the boat. He was actually on the boat. I thought that was the coolest thing. And I basically told my parents, I'm going to bring them in biologists one day. Explain to you why I'm even here, why I am the one who is speaking to you today. Wherever I go, and I travel all over the world visiting these facilities, I see many of the same things. So I was aware that um, mainland Chinese facilities were expanding, they were being built very quickly, um, there were a lot more every year. Um, I also knew that they were acquiring animals from the wild. When you are capturing these animals from the wild, you have not only a welfare concern once they're in captivity, but you have a conservation concern for the wild populations that are being targeted. And here in China, it's even worse because everything about it is a lie. People are not learning respect for these animals. I'm laughing at them and they're poking fun at them and they're it does exactly the opposite of what anybody hopes it would do. It makes them disrespect the animal. It teaches them false information. That can lead to a lifetime of misunderstanding and harm. When their skin was so bad, I felt they should be under a veterinarian, uh, veterinarian's care. Like, as we were watching them, they should have been in a hospital. That just really infuriated me. Again, it's something that even other facilities in China and outside of China would consider inappropriate. Why are these animals performing when they're not healthy? The idea that we're going to save polar bears or any species, period, threatened by climate change by breeding them in captivity is ludicrous. Facilities, public display facilities, zoos, aquariums have been making that claim for decades. That some must be sacrificed for the greater good. No species of wildlife has a future if they don't have natural habitat. And the world is getting worse. The environment is getting worse. Habitat is disappearing. Climate change is accelerating. It hasn't worked! That zoos and aquariums are part of the problem rather than the solution because they desensitize people to the status of the animals. What I've seen here in China is things that are not natural to the animal. Making the animals do things that are completely unnatural. Teaching them tricks. Having, you know, a sea lion walk like a person is grotesque. And the walrus with the sea lions, I've never seen that before. Nobody else does that is just ecologically wrong. So that's not teaching people. Doing is miseducating people about these animals' natural behaviors, natural habitat. I think that's really dangerous. I think sometimes these animals um, adapt their behavior to the circumstances they're provided. Another thing I'd never seen before or heard before was belugas who just constantly scream and vocalize above water in a way that seemed to be an effort to gain the attention of the trainers. Um, it was like listening to toddlers throw a tantrum. That's not a natural vocalization, it's something they're trained to do, it's a trick. Are now doing it like it's almost a natural vocalization and they're just constantly screaming and I don't even know what to call it, screeching above above water. In any other facility, the trainers would try to discourage or extinguish that behavior. Like I said, I think it's an attention-grabbing kind of thing. 
and you shouldn't, just like with a toddler, you really shouldn't indulge that. I'm not implying we were trying to control these animals, but they are, in fact, trying to control these animals. In the dolphin area, the dolphins were going over a wall, a low wall that separated two different tanks. They could go over another wall that dropped them onto the deck. They could actually hurt themselves going over the wall. Um, let's say there was some sort of damage on the wall. They could scrape their bellies on it. There were pl places where there was flaking paint. I saw that in a couple of the facilities that we visited. Animals can ingest the paint flecks. Those are toxic. That's very dangerous. Little child that goes into the little plastic boat and gets towed around by the dolphin. Nobody's with the child. If she decided to let go of the handle, and I just thought that was really dangerous. They've probably done it thousands and thousands of times with no problem. But when it comes to this sort of situation, it only takes once. Disaster. The main catalyst for the change that we've seen in the United States is somebody died. This is Detective Rivera with the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Today's date is February So the blackfish effect was when somebody made a film about the trainer being killed. It, so many people saw it, it changed everything. It's time to stop the shows. It's time to stop forcing the animals to perform in basically a circus environment. And they should release the animals that are young enough and healthy enough to be released. And the animals like Tillicum, who are old and sick and have put in 25 years in the industry, should be released to an open ocean pen so they can live out their lives and just experience the natural rhythms of the ocean. This is a multi-billion dollar corporation that makes its money through the exploitation of orcas. They're not suitable to have in captivity. The whales are really bored. You deprive them of all this environmental stimulation. I think that in 50 years, we'll look back and go, my God, what a barbaric time. Just in the last six years, I've been making so much progress. Everything's moving really, really fast now in a good way in the West. And then Russia starts capturing orcas again. They capture belugas and they sell them to China. And China is building so many facilities. Everywhere else the industry is shrinking and here it's expanding. I wish I could just wave a magic wand and make things better. I want to be happy and enthusiastic and optimistic. Things are changing so quickly in the West in a good way, but it's difficult because it's all going backwards here in the East.